Adventurer, wait, please. Oh, great Saradoman, please help me. It all happened so fast. Please protect me, please. Oh no, what if they come back? Someone murdered my brothers. They, they, they left me alive. Why didn't they take me and not them? But look at them. They didn't deserve an end like that. I can hardly look at them. It's as if their souls can't pass on to the afterlife. It only happened after their murder. I don't think it was the killer that caused it. They just looked so tormented. I keep racking my brains, but it's all a blur. Damn, my old age! I can't remember anything of the attacker. Please, I beg of you, help me search for evidence so we can find who killed my brothers and bring them to justice. Oh, thank you, adventurer. I think it would be best to start by searching for clues that point to the killer. You're bound to find something in the surrounding area. You should check the, the bodies, too. Take my notebook and update it with clues as you find them. I need a moment to collect my thoughts.
remember. Serotonin site. Release. Please. Oh. 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 They didn't deserve this. Oh, why, Saradome, and why? He may not give me answers, but his light has never led me astray. are well known to possess crystals such as these. They carry them on their person and craft with them. Perhaps they had something to do with all this. My poor brother. Thank you, adventurer. I'm lucky you came along. Oh, I'll try. Perhaps they had My poor brother. How could you even suggest that? They were devout followers of Saradomin, believers in order and wisdom. Oh, I'll try. Perhaps they had something to do. This is highly peculiar. Look at the symbol. It represents the goddess of the elves, Serin. What could it be doing all the way out here? Well, the, the elves are solitary creatures who live far to the west, in isolation from the other races. It seems strange that one of them would venture this far without purpose.
I can't say I'm much of an expert, but the elf skills in archery and crystal weaponry are fabled. Tales are often told of their mystifying precision. I am cautious to lay blame, adventurer, although the killer was certainly armed like an elf. Oh, blast my old failing memory! Sarah Domin, bless you, adventurer. Let me take a look at what you found. Strange, most peculiar. It could have been an elf who did this. The ring and arrow seem to be elven craft. I just can't remember. It was all over so quickly. My only knowledge of the elves comes from tales and legends I was told as a child. My mother used to read them from time to time. I vaguely remember the tale of their goddess Serin. She was ridden with guilt and shattered herself into thousands of crystals to always be with her followers. But she was supposed to believe the different races could live in peace. Why would an elf want to do this to us? No, I, I don't think so. Although I did not notice a strange man when we passed some stone steps to the west. Very strange indeed. He was carrying a sack of bones and muttering to himself. Perhaps you should find out if he saw anything. of the ordinary? No. What exactly are you investigating? Oh, well. Uh, I haven't seen anything. I'm busy with my bones. Well, uh... All right, it's easy to see the path from up here. I see a lot of people come and go, hear things too.
I might have done. But the elves live far away. Why would you ask? That's all right. I do recall seeing an elf on the path today, heading eastward. Huh? Here? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe it's time you left. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. It was a terrible commotion. Lots of screaming and shouting. over the rocks here, but it was all over too quickly. There were three men lying dead on the floor. I only managed to glimpse a tall, hooded figure making off into the distance to the east. I didn't get a good look, but they seemed to be much taller and were wearing dark clothes. Oh, shut up. Just as we suspected, that elf must have been involved somehow. Did he mention anything else? Oh, I'm not sure if that fits. I must say I haven't met many elves in my time. Was there any more? A man living up there with only bones for company? He probably doesn't get many visitors. I'm not sure I can draw a conclusion. Perhaps I'm still in shock. Who do you think it was?
Did the, the odd man mention what direction the figure was heading? If they left crystals behind, maybe you could pick up some sort of trail and figure out where they went. You should take the same approach as before, note down any clues and try to find a witness. What? Who in Saradoman's name would do such a thing? You... you don't think someone was... Maybe they were protecting us, avenging Saradoman's loyal followers. I don't know. Maybe I'm not thinking straight. I just don't know why any of this is happening. It couldn't have been any one of us. We were travelling to Patadomus from the west. We hadn't been any further up the road yet. Monks have occupied the temple in the... There are lots of people that follow Saradoman. Wizards, for example. It could have been any of them.
How could this be? That's the symbol of the great Saradomen on the pendant. It couldn't have been any one of us. We... Monks have occupied the temple in the past, but it was rumored to be abandoned. There are lots of people that follow Saradomen. This is highly suspicious. We monks do not worship Saradomen by wearing his color. Our garments are of a more humble material. There are many groups that wear blue robes. Saradominist wizards, for example. It could have been any of them. I have known wizards in the past. It's hard to believe those that follow Saradomen would be capable of murder. This is starting to make sense now. We just need to find a witness. Look, my work here is of the utmost importance. All right, all right. I, I didn't see much, though. What burning questions do you have? Unless you're referring to my glorious fire I had burning earlier. Now that was extraordinary. My beacon is part of a warning network. It's imperative that I tend to it. Please, leave me to my work. Okay. Right. Earlier, I heard a scream from down the hill. When I peeked out to have a look, I saw an elf lying there. It scared me half to death. I tried to get a look at the killer, but... Well, okay. I've never witnessed anything like it in my life. When I looked over to the killer, they vanished. I've seen people teleport, but this was different. Everything went dark as if the sun had disappeared. It was like they created a rift that sucked all light from the area.
I thought it would be too dangerous to go any further, so I hid up here behind my beacon. No, they were gone so fast I barely saw them. This is... There are many groups that where I have known wizard. Okay, let me take a look. The evidence you found seems to suggest the killing has something to do with Saradomin. How could somebody do this? Could it be other monks? Wizards? There is no feud between Seren and Saradomin that I know of. All this mindless killing just doesn't make any sense to me. cruel place indeed. I don't know what I'll do without my brothers. We have to find this criminal. Did you manage to find any witnesses? Really? What did he see? He must have had some useful information. Vanished? P -p perhaps a teleport spell. How are we supposed to find them now? I haven't heard of anything like that before. It doesn't sound like a normal teleport spell. We seem to have found all the evidence but have no clear explanation. I'm no expert on magic, and I know little of elves or wizards. I think it's time we sought help, adventurer. I have an old friend who also worships Saradomin. We were close when we were younger, but I became a monk and she a wizard. Her name is Valina, and she specializes in crystal magic. You should go and talk to her to see what she knows about the clues. You can find her at the entrance to the Wizard's Tower, south of Draenor Village.
the Wizard's Tower adventure. since I saw him. How is he, anyway? Gosh, he isn't hurt, is he? I'll help in any way I can. I'm afraid I can't leave my post, though. that it is quite uncommon for an elf to venture so far from Tyrannon, but it's not unheard of. I am particularly intrigued by the crystals you found. Being an expert on crystal magics, I have conducted much research on the subject. Firstly, crystals are extremely precious to the elves. For them to be discarded so carelessly is highly irregular. And that's ignoring the assumption that a skilled assassin would leave any clues at all. Secondly, a crystal arrow would be entirely crystalline. I have yet to come across one that is crystal tipped, as you've described. In summary, the clues you found are quite misleading. So, I would advise caution, adventurer. Some of these clues do appear to indicate the involvement of a Saradominist, potentially a wizard. As you can see, my position allows me to keep track of the comings and goings of many wizards. Anyone entering or leaving must check in with me. tower has left for a significant amount of time, but admittedly, I cannot account for all Saradominus wizards across Gillenor. Regardless, this kind of behaviour is uncharacteristic for a follower of Saradomin. It seems an unlikely conclusion.
clues, you are right to put my counter-argument under scrutiny. Let's look at this logically. Firstly, the weapon of choice. The elf was killed by an accurate stab wound. Wizards are trained in magic, not combat. Secondly, we all wear the same standard of robes. You describe the blue fabric at the crime scene as rough linen. Whereas our robes are woven from wool and imbued with defensive enchantments, which give the fabric a distinctive shine. If anything, it sounds like the killer was trying to impersonate a wizard. Ah yes, this doesn't sound like regular teleportation. Normally the spell would emit light rather than absorb it. A possible explanation is that the killer opened a rift to escape to a darker realm or dimension. But that would require powerful magic which most wizards have yet to master. It doesn't seem to conform to the other evidence. It all depends how reliable you believe this blaze sharp eye to be, really. This may surprise you, adventurer, but we have been receiving reports of similar happenings recently. I must say, I have never encountered anything like this before. An ethereal spirit trapped in the physical world. How intriguing. Here at the tower, we research all manner of magic. I'm not aware of something like this ever being documented until now. I would say this is not a magical phenomenon and certainly not related to your killer. What we're dealing with here is on a much larger scale. It would seem something quite drastic is happening. Elves, monks, wizards, guards, this is all so confusing. What do you think is going on? I must agree, there is something sinister afoot here. Who do you think committed this atrocity then?
Sliske? As I'm not familiar with him, I cannot rule him out. Perhaps you've seen something I've missed, adventurer. I may not be as sharp as I used to be, but I'm tough to fool, adventurer. The crime scenes are so similar, it's almost as if the clues were planted. Precisely. And besides, Seren and Saradoman have no quarrel with each other. I... Uh, I think someone might be trying to turn them against each other. Like I said, I'm not as sharp as I used to be. One thing's for certain, though, whoever it was wants to give them cause for a fight. What do you mean? I can't hear anything. Do not be alarmed. I sensed you on the surface world. My arrival is imminent. Wait. Can you feel that rumbling? cross again, mortal. I sensed there was more to your fate that day in the pyramid. Adventurer, the Reaper of Souls, whom you know as Death, has gone missing. Without his scythe, there is nothing to sever the tie between souls and their physical shells. Look about you. The souls are in limbo, shackled to these lifeless husks. across all of Gilinor, bearing witness to the same thing. 
I cannot help them all. A question I myself cannot answer, nor can his helpers, nor the guardians of Gothix. I have not known death to abandon his duty, not once in thousands of years. There are sinister powers at work here, mortal. I must find him with due haste before things fall apart completely. of Gilinor, and the realms are not governed by the same principles of mortality. Death does have failsafes in place, helpers that are able to use shards from his scythe to release souls. But we are in times of great unrest, and they are unable to keep pace with the flow of souls. So I am assisting by transporting the deceased to them. But I am tired, mortal. There is much that needs my attention. Death and I work harmoniously. Our destinies intertwined. Without him, I cannot fulfill my role. I am the guardian of souls. I care not for the process of dying, for that is the concern of the Reaper. I stand my vigil at the gates of Gilinor's underworld. It is a dark place filled with all manner of devourer beasts. Their thirst for souls insatiable. It is there that death delivers the souls he has collected, so I may safely shepherd them to the afterlife. Without him, the souls remain trapped. Without me, they become lost. I suspect that the deaths here are more significant than the others I have seen. Did your investigation reveal the killer? You have a keen eye, mortal. I am familiar with this miscreant. I believe he may be connected to death's disappearance. The question is why? Kidnapping death? and attempting to turn gods against each other. Something is amiss. answer to this as yet eludes me. I fail to see the connection between kidnapping death and turning gods against each other.
What is clear is that he is setting in motion dangerous events, and we cannot let him continue. The answer to this has yet eluded. What is clear is that I would ask for your help, mortal. You have seen the evil at work here, and now you know the truth. Our highest priority is... Wait, wait. Something is wrong. Prepare yourself, adventurer. I sense the approach of undead. Well fought, mortal. I am not accustomed to undead withstanding my power. Ordinarily I would dispatch tens of whites with a wave of my hand, but these... It seemed almost as though they were attuned to my power, like something was protecting them. Hmm, a peculiar object. There's some sort of mask affixed to the lid. Speak clear. 
clearly a mask. What event? Who is your master? Why, Sisky's grand deception, of course. Didn't you recognize your old friend? Congratulations on defeating those whites, by the way. In light of recent events, he must believe he has obtained the godhood. This mask must be mad to believe I'd ever respond to an invitation sent by that backstabbing snake. Poor old Ixlaren, so easily frustrated by a talking box. Have the audacity to kidnap death himself. Do you know nothing of the consequences? Now, now, Iggy, settle down. All you have to do is play along. You would dare invoke the wrath of a god? conclusion, we must exercise caution in our approach. The situation is apparent to me now. Sliske's plan is as evil and manipulative as I have come to expect from him.
with Jeskon. Sliske knew I would come to the surface world to deal with the trapped souls. After killing the people you see here, he predicted my arrival and left his whites to ambush me. But they were just a show of his power. The real purpose was to deliver his invitation. Kidnapping death leaves me no choice but to attend his ascension. This is the key to his master plan. I believe he is hatching similar schemes to also force the other gods into attendance. The piece of the puzzle before you seeks to turn Seren and Saladomin against each other. If they have both returned to Gilinor and believe each other to be at the Citadel, they will likely attend in order to confront one another. If I am correct, Sliske will have a plan in place for each god, and the situation is more dire than I first believed. I was right to seek your help, adventurer. The evidence you gathered has been invaluable. If Sliske is gathering the gods in one place, who knows what he may do. And to make matters worse, he has kidnapped death. I cannot stand by and allow whatever madness he is planning to unfold. I, am. Um, excuse me, who is this Sliske? You need not concern yourself with this, mortal. But, sorry, but he killed my brothers. Rest assured, Sliske will answer for his crimes. Still, I cannot bring myself to trust this box. It is a fact I am well aware of. First, I must transport these souls to Death's Mansion. After that, it seems we have only one option. when you are ready to be teleported to the Citadel, adventurer. The souls are in safe hands with Death's helpers. Open the box. Caution, adventurer. We were given this by Sliske, after all. Are you sure you wish to open it?
Your bravery is noted, mortal. Let's hope we're not too careless. Go ahead. to attack followers of the great Saradomi. What are you talking about? It was you who attacked us. Out of this human. Enough of your lies, Elf. Saradomi knows Seren has a presence here. He will deal with her. Your god is a liar. We communicate with Seren through the crystal singers in our homeland. How could she be here? were given information she would be. If she hasn't returned, then why are you so far from home? We were told we would find Saradomnists here, so we could make you answer for your crimes. Why would he want to do that? in Guthix's chambers, I'm not sure I can trust you, adventurer. You sided against Saradomin. to manipulate all of us. Our quarrel is not with each other. That's for Saradonian to decide, not you. Even now we know the truth. You still won't accept a truce. The fact remains that you follow the wrong god. I do not trust your kind. for telling us the truth, adventurer. It is a shame Ziliana will not see sense. It is not the truth until Saradomin decrees it so. Thank you for telling us the truth, adventurer. What do you want? Mind your tone when you speak to me, human. 
The events unfolding here are of great importance to my master, Zalmarak. My lord would not allow a Zerosian murderer to claim godhood without challenge. He has come to see with his own eyes.
represents freedom and justice. He believes the races of Gillenor can live in harmony and champions a future of peace. You are lucky to be stood upon his sacred ground at an event that will echo through history. Support Armadil and rid Gillenor of war once and for all. are the bodyguards of Criara, champion of Armadil. We have been chosen to take his place while he assembles Armadil's forces for his return to Gillenor. more and take to the skies. Unite? Even when Armadale left us, we stood strong against those who opposed us. And now he will take us beneath his wing. No longer will we be lost. We will rise to the clouds. remain cautious. What if he were to abandon us again? He thought us destroyed. Armadale will give us new hope and bring justice to the realm of gods. He won't leave us again. He can't. He has grieved our dead long enough. We must take action, or join them in the eternal flight. Glory to the Aviancy! No! The Imperium Citadel belongs to Armadale. This great citadel was once Armadale's seat of power in Gillinor where the wisest of the Abianci held court. In our absence, Sliske has taken it as his own to host his ascension. Sliske's arrogance has hastened Armadale's return. Sliske's presence here is an insult to our ancestors. We will reclaim the citadel and put an end to this sacrilege! Criara didn't want to bring you harm. His mind was torn. He followed what he believed to be the right course of action. Although you defeated him, he doesn't feel aggrieved by your actions. He respected your right to defend yourself. If he'd had his loyal bodyguards by his side, the outcome would have been a different story. Armadale left us, 
We stood st And now he will take us beneath his wing. I remain cautious. He thought us destroyed. He has grieved our dead love. Glory to the Avian! What do you want, human? is big high war god strongest of all the gods he band together the goblins ogres orcs and trolls for glorious victory Silly human is talking about. Grado got bored of fight and had more important things to do.
Adventurer, it is good to see you again. The Marjorat are at each other's throats in the name of Zaros and Zamorak. The survival of our race is at risk. Sliske threatens to introduce a third side to this senseless feud. I must be the voice of reason. For now, I patiently observe. There is little I can do to stop them alone, but the peace will hold for the time being. Zaros has yet to return. I can only hope those that follow Zamorak will see sense as I continue to advocate peace. They are increasingly difficult to reason with. I still have a fondness for the Fremenic people, but they know little of what I have become. I have spent time educating them, showing them the history of our race, and working to reduce hostility towards the Marjorat. I have also spoken to a few of my race, advocating neutrality and trying to calm the current conflict. It is not an easy task. It has taken some getting used to, but I must say it's quite an improvement. I feel raw power coursing through my veins. I don't feel pain like I used to, and I'm sure my intellect has increased. But somehow, there is something missing. A capacity for emotion that I can't quite put my finger on. Adventurer, it is good to see you again. is ever present, but he has yet to return to Gilenor. We have come to represent him in his absence. You chose wisely in Gothix's chambers, adventurer. Zaros will be most pleased. Fellow Zerosian Majorat, we believed he would welcome us inside. It would seem that only the gods themselves were deemed worthy of invitations. These undead brothers refuse our entry. With such powerful beings gathered here, 
It is only a matter of time until someone breaks in. He did not. As fellow Zorosian Majorat, we believed he would welcome us inside. It would seem that only the gods themselves were deemed worthy of invitations. These undead brothers refuse our entry. such powerful beings gathered here. And it will take more than some of... Selfish. Now he has the arrogance to claim godhood. I seriously doubt his loyalty to the empty lord. Sliske has his own method to his tell. We do not know the extent of his loyalty. You think yourself wise, but you're a fool not to distrust him as an Adra. I will not be a part of this latest deception. There is no way of knowing if he is still loyal to Zaros. Sliske has always played his cards close to his chest. It would seem he has completed the steps to become a god, but I am not sure I believe he has ascended. What we believe is irrelevant. What we know is important. Slesky is not only mischievous, but he is also dangerous. I'm not even sure he trusts himself. make the mistake of underestimating him, adventurer, as so many have. Your help in rebuilding the temple at Sentiston is recognized, adventurer. We regard you as a friend of Zaros. The Empty Lord may not be here physically, but he is soon to return. I have finally made contact with him. He is far from here, on another world. But when he returns, the temple at Sentiston will be his home. Zara 
Kratos is ever present, but he has yet to return to Gilenor. We have come to represent him in his absence. You chose wisely in Gothix's chambers, adventurer. Zaros will be most pleased 